So today we're going to take the lure that we previously designed in Design Lure. You can check that out there. We're going to take that, we're going to cast that in some VAC 50 from Alumalite. And then I'm going to let that set up and then we're going to pour some Plastisol swim baits. So if that's something you're into, stick around. Okay, so in a previous video, I talked about how to print in space, which is like this, which works really well, unless your printer oozes out filament like a champ. And the ANET A8 does that quite a bit. So I had some issues trying to remove support material from the actual model. Um, the supports went well. They printed really nicely. It's just they welded to the support material. No matter what I did, I put it up to three layers apart and then it started to droop before it hit the support material and still it was sticking to it. So instead what I did was what I didn't want to do and I printed the, the models flat on the build plate and they printed all right. You can see some of the problems up towards the top. So, But that's okay, we're gonna use this anyway. I'm all right with how they look. I might flame them off real quick to get away the stringing, but let's see, let's give it a rip. next morning and that's what we're left with there so I think the goal for today is to clean up these edges in here kind of scrape away the the mold material and then uh, piece piece together the second half so what I'll do is I'll scrape these out to make sure that the the new VAC 50 on the second half of the mold is going to be able to pour over there and leave a good cavity. Then I'll spray uh, or I'll drill a couple indexing holes as well in here somewhere so the second half will be able to fit in correctly. And then I will go ahead and spray mold release on this and then pour new VAC 50 on it. So I did the same thing that I always do with these things. And I poured way too much VAC 50 on there. I used way too much for it. Could have used half of it. So I think this, for the second half of this, I'm going to use about half as much as I did before. So just be cognizant of that. I mean, you use a lot of that stuff and it's not cheap. So, all right, let's get her.
All right. Well, thanks for sticking to the end. Hopefully that was a little bit more enjoyable for you than it was for me. This project was just a nightmare from the beginning. I don't know what it was, but I think it's four days later now. Uh, you, If you have a keen eye, you might have noticed that I started with a 3D printed in pink parts, and then I had to go to green. Well, the reason that occurred is because I poured the first half of the first mold, and I didn't put the mold release on the prints thinking, ah, it's no big deal, I can just heat them up and pull them out of the Lumalite after it's set up. Doesn't work. Don't do that, apparently. Does not work. Um, they're in there and they're not coming out. I tried melting them out, I tried everything, and they're in there, so I had to re-pour the whole mold. As the VEC-50 sets up, it all the air comes either you know up out of the epoxy or it gets set in, and a lot of these were just set into. So there's a lot of dimpling on them. Don't have a VEC chamber yet, but I don't know if you can see it. This box right there is a vacuum chamber. So I'll do an unboxing on that and first impressions and then we'll use it on the new stuff that I'm getting which is Moldmax 60 silicone from SmoothOn. I ordered that, that's coming in the mail. So we'll degas that with the new vacuum chamber and uh, we'll be able to pour some lead this time around instead of just doing the uh, soft plastics because the silicone has a, like a temperature rating of 575 something like that something ridiculously high so it'll be interesting um double pour double colors worked pretty well too i think that's a pretty cool one um just with the green belly and then uh clear with glitter on the inside so definitely still working the 3D print process works really well, as long as you don't cut your finger open and you don't do a couple other things. So, If you enjoyed this, this is kind of what I do on the channel, uh, feel free to give it a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, I'm going to go help the wife put together a TV stand, because I'm just that nice of a guy. Keep your amps up and your filament dry.